May 26, Tuesday, Memorial of St. Philip Neri, Priest A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come, give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that he may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you have gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord Give glory to your Son. The glory of eternal life that Jesus Christ had from the beginning of time and shared with the Father is now made available to believers. Before Jesus Christ came into the world, He existed with God the Father. Now that His mission is almost over, He prays that His followers will accompany Him as He is restored to His original state with God. His resurrection and ascension attest to this return to the exalted position at the right hand of God the Father. Just as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are united, Jesus prays that His disciples be united in the same way. Before the disciples are joined to the Trinity, they have to battle with the evil one. Jesus' presence and the Holy Spirit's power will ward off the power of Satan.